Hey guys, welcome to Vertical Football. I'm your host, Shergo. And guys, welcome to the preview and prediction of the game week six. We had an amazing game the last, um, last game week, um, most especially the blockbuster game between Man City versus Arsenal. Um, I think we expressed our opinions on that. We also had an amazing game, Christopher versus Manchester United. We had West Ham versus Chelsea. A lot of amazing games, a lot of amazing um, matches in that last weekend. And so, guys, let's jump right into it. The preview and the prediction for the game week six. Let's go. So, the first game, really, for this game week, it's a big game. A big game. Newcastle versus Man City. I think um, Newcastle uh, was a shock, really. Um, Fulham winning Newcastle 3-1. I don't think anybody would have would have seen that um, really, really a shock. But, uh, but uh, Man City, a draw against Arsenal. I think looking at that game, looking at the referee situation, I don't think they deserve to even get a point in that game, really. I felt Arsenal deserved to win the game. Um, but it went, it happened the way it happened. But this game, I think, is going to be a very tough game. But I think Man City wins, really. I think Man City wins. I think I will go for a Newcastle 1, Man City 3. The next game is Arsenal versus Leicester City. Leicester City drew 1-1 one, one versus Everton last game. I think um, As on Arsenal, on the other hand, also drew with Man City. And I think it's unfair, really, uh, the update from Arsenal fans, even from the ones we we, we spoke to and the ones we see on, on the social media, we, we, we see them being critical of Ateta. Why is Ateta playing defensive football? Yeah, I know you want to play a particular pattern. You want to uh, you want to have your own style of play against any team in the world. But I think also you need to factor in the fact that, uh, you know, when you are down to 10 men for the totality of the second half against Manchester City, arguably top is in top two of the best teams. And you can also argue maybe it's even the best team in the world. Uh, so, you, you know, it's not easy really. And I think it was the right thing to do. And I think um, on a different day without the referee decisions, they could have won. So I think I I, I, I want to envisage that um, I will see us now back to their pattern. Arsenal playing the pattern that we 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 know the him. We are used to seeing them playing, and I think Arsenal wins this game. Uh, I think Arsenal wins this game fantastically well. So I will go for Arsenal three and Leicester nil. The next game is Brentford versus West Ham United. Brentford wins West Ham United. Brentford lost to Tottenham. I think we predicted. Yeah, really, it was going to be the scoreline: Tottenham three and Brentford one. And then um, West Ham. With the way they played against Chelsea, we express our opinions here. I, I think Lopetegui should have a check at the style of play he wants to play. He wants to play a dominating style of play, possession kind of play. And once you're missing teams that have the ability to stay on the low block and eat on the counter attack, it's really difficult because West Ham don't have the players with the legs. And I think we could see that um, against Chelsea. I think now also it's a bigger test really because Brentford is one of the best teams in sitting down in the low in the low block and eating on the counter attack, they are very good on that. I think it's going to be a little more stress to Lopetegu. Are you going to still keep that playing pattern, or are you going to change it? But in this game, I think I'll go for Brentford two, uh, West Ham new. I don't think Lopetegu changes. I think Lopetegu is confident in the new pattern he wants to implement at West Ham. Um, but I think also he needs to factor any kind of players he has. But I don't think he, he would he would do that. I think he's, he's going to go the same way he went against Chelsea. And I think they're going to lose um, that game. Two goals to nil. So Brentford two, West Ham nil. Chelsea versus Brighton. Chelsea won comfortably against West Ham. And Brighton due 2-2 to Nottingham Forest. Oh, amazing. Oh, shocking result, really. Shocking result, but amazing result for Nottingham Forest. I think it's going to be a draw also in this game. I think I'll go for the same scoreline, 2-2. Bri- um, Chelsea to Brighton too. So I hope I'm just to Brighton too. That's my, the way I view it. I think it's going to be that. I think two good managers that have made um, positive steps with their with their clubs this season. I think uh, I, I just want to say I'm just to um, Brighton too. Everton was a Crystal Palace. Everton drew to Leicester City. I think we predicted 1-0, but uh, nah, it was a draw. Um, then Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace drew 0-0 to Manchester United. I think Crystal Palace wins this game. I think but it's going to be a very tight game. So I'll go with Crystal Palace 2, Everton 1. That's Everton 1, Crystal Palace, Crystal Palace 2. I think Crystal Palace, over what I saw against Manchester United, even though it was a draw, I feel they have that level, that quality um, to, to, to get one past um, get one past Everton. Nottingham Forest versus Fulham. Interesting game. Fulham had an amazing result against Newcastle. Nottingham Forest had a decent and amazing result against Brighton. So it's going to be a very, very tough game. 
I'm of, I'm of the opinion that Fulham, Fulham, right from the first game of the season against Manchester United, I said, this team has something uh, that I really like. Uh, this team has something I like. And I think um, Marco Silva is a decent coach, a decent coach, um, stabilized coach, understand the Premier League, really. And I think um, Nottingham Forest um, with Steve Cooper, I think is okay. But I think um, Fulham, I think Fulham wins this game. I think uh, Fulham wins 2-1. So I'll go Nottingham Forest 1, Fulham, Fulham 2. Then the last game on Saturday is Wolves versus Liverpool. Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. Liverpool, 3-0 Bournemouth. I expected that. I, I predicted that, really. Liverpool was going to win against Bournemouth. And Wolves. Wolves doing amazingly well. Um, but last game lost 3-1 um, to Aston Villa, which... You would expect really. So I think I think Wolves scores in this game. I think Wolves scores. Wolves has the ability to, to score one. Um, but I think uh, Liverpool wins. So I will go with um either a three one win for Liverpool or a four one win for Liverpool. So Wolves one, Liverpool three or four. I think Liverpool is that with those those teams you expect would not just win one zero. I think you expect they, they go past. Yeah, away game against Wolves. I know under Georgia and Club. I think the last two seasons, Wolves was always a tough opposition for Liverpool, but I think Liverpool wins this game. I think Liverpool wins. I'm tending towards four, but I think either 3-1 or 4-1 for Liverpool. Then on Sunday, we have amazing games. Ipswich versus Aston Villa. Ipswich G1-1 to Southampton, even though we predicted that Southampton was going to win 1-0. Um, Ipswich is really, really showing that. Come on, you can't you can, you can push us aside. We are also in the game. But against Aston Villa, I think Ipswich loses this game. But I think they score. I think Ipswich score. I'm having the feeling Ipswich score. But I'll go for Ipswich 1, Aston Villa 3 or 4 also. But I'll go for 4. So Ipswich 1, Aston Villa 4. Then the big game, big, big game, Manchester United versus Spurs. <sighs> I, I, I don't really know what to say, really. If, um, Eric Ten Hag, you know, disappointment after disappointment for Manchester United fans, really. Um, I think two draws prior to this match against Paul's, a draw against Crystal Palace, a draw against 20. I think this game, Eric Ten Hag has to step up. Manchester United has to step up. I think it's not just enough to have possession passively. I think you need to do something tangible with the possession. Um, this game, I expect, my, I hope and expect that Manchester United has that intensity. I, I really want to see the front full press. I really want to see them disturb, you know, this Old Trafford, go at sports, you know, press them, make, make them commit errors. And I think they do that, they could easily win against um, Chelsea. But I think, against sports, sorry. But I think, um, looking at it, uh, I want to say, I want to be turning towards a Manchester United win, 1-0. Um, that's if they do the front foot press and everything. But also, another mind is saying they lose 3 1 to Spurs. So, either one's very much United win or Spurs 3 1. But the way I'm looking at it, looking at Eric Hag, I think Eric Hag should not start the midfield of Mino and Ericsson. Use Mino Ugate. You have to use Mino Ugate. I think these kind of these are the kind of games you want Messi Mount to start. These are the kind of games you want Oilon to start. So, I think if he, if he gets those things right, I, I, I think they could easily win. But if he decides to use Zexy, decides to use Ericsson, Mino, I think they lose, really. So for me, uh, so that it's not be like, see if I'm trying to be positive towards Manchester United, uh, let's see, Manchester United loses 3-1 to Spurs. The last game of the game week, Bournemouth versus Southampton. Amazing. Bournemouth lost um, 3-0 to Liverpool. Why Southampton drew 1-1 to Ipswich. I think it's been an exciting game, really, but because but I think Bournemouth wins, really. I think Bournemouth come, comes off of that um, defeat against Liverpool, and I think they win. I'll go for a two and win for Bournemouth. Bournemouth two, Southampton one. So, guys, this is my own uh, prediction on the game week six of the English Premier League. As usual, I know you have your own opinions on who wins and what scoreline. So please don't forget, drop that, drop your own opinions in the comment section. And guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to share this video. And thank you very much, guys. we we'll see you at the end of the game week in our uh, five things we learned and our reactions to, to the two particular games. So don't forget to stick with us through this weekend for exciting content. Thank you very much, guys. And see you. Bye.